stupid. I'll, I'll hold one at a time. Yeah! They both had spark That's awesome, shot. man. All right, man. It's getting cold out, Jay. Fall's here. That means winter's coming. What are we doing? We're gonna go check out a Yamaha snowmobile. It's a 1985 Yamaha SRV 540. So, sweet man, let's check it out. They just grow just like that if you leave the logs out. Just to be in pretty good shape. I think we can get that running. Right. Moving. <laughs> you're on top of some. Oh yeah, you're good. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. You're fine. Yeah. Just push it. Is it in? Sweet. Good thing you got a trailer. And I yeah, lifted right into the nice. truck, man. I know, that's why I brought it. The next day. Here is the snowmobile. Sweet, bro. It's got the right name on it. It builds snow. Go. One, two, three. 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 Go ahead, keep going. You're almost there. Yeah, go ahead. One, two, three. It's 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 heavy in the front. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Let's pull Fucking it this way 540. now. All right, it's towed with the Civic. <laughs> I'll just steer it. I'm not going to ride on it. You got to keep it straight, not turn. Whew, that was a workout. There you go. Let's go. Go. <laughs> Looks like it's got some skegs on it, leaving marks in the yard, so that's good. <laughs> you can hear the clutch spinning. Where are you going? What? You're gonna go into the driveway? Go ahead. All right.
All right, guys, here we go. This is our winter project right here. 1980 Yamaha SRV 540. Jay got this for a really good deal. So we just got done power washing it, cleaning it up a little bit. It's got 865 original miles, but somebody stored it outside, so it needs a seat cover. Needs just a little bit of Yamaha bros love, but we're ready to get it started, man. Let's get it. Not too bad, man. Looks pretty good. Let's see under the hood. There she is. 800 original miles. 865, right? I mean, it does look pretty clean on the motor part, but. And it's got that mechanical fuel pump, so hopefully that works right. The clutch looked pretty good. I mean, the belt. Steven said he rode it for a while and then it kind of started running shitty, so. I like it, man. It's gonna be a perfect yard sled. Yep. So what do we need it for. What do you want to do? What are we gonna start with? You're gonna try and pull this seat off, just get that out of the way? Yeah. Let's pull the seat take off. The seat off. We're gonna take the carb off to clean it. We're gonna check for spark. Get some new spark plugs. Drain the gas out of it. That's what I was thinking. Just dump the whole thing out in the woods somewhere and put two fresh gallons in it. All right, let's turn some wrenches, man. All right, let's pull the seat off there. Did you already get those bolts out? Yeah. Is it gonna come right off? Probably. Oh yeah. Don't break it. Is oh, there, there's a light. Unplugged, I got unplugged. There's one, yeah. Hang on. Okay. Cool. Should I put this outside so it dries? Yeah. I know. It's like having a fucking broke down four wheeler. It's like a tank. It sucks. It'll be fun when you're ripping in the middle of winter. Dragging Lily around in a sled or something. Yeah. Dragging Lily around. That's poop. man there we go we got our three hundred dollar yamaha srv 540 cleaning it up hell yeah man we got it all torn down already huh jay yep it's pretty easy a couple right. nuts couple bolts couple screws tore the gas tank right out of there we we're gonna drain that out pulled the carb off quick i just gotta pull the choke get that cleaned up at work i want to hear this shit run by this weekend bro it's November 16th, man. 60 degrees out today. It's probably the last nice day in New York State for a while. Yeah, perfect time to get working on this sled, dude. I'm stoked. Dad's yeah. all fired up. He's like, I'm going to get my shit going. Yeah, he'll probably go work on his now. He's like, I'll run you. I'll run it. <laughs> so you'll probably beat me. He'll run it. He's got a 440. Indy 440 wood sled yeah. shed. Yeah, but it's liquid, so shed I mean, sled. Straight. All right, man, let's keep going. There's the choke. All right, cool. It was just a plunger. That, that shit was definitely disgusting. For sure. Sweet, dude. I like sleds because they're simple. And they got a big engine. It's not like a little single Whoa. cylinder dirt bike. It like rips, bro. Yeah, well, this should have, normally it would have two carbs if this was like a Polaris high performance motor. Right. It's a fan cool, dude. It's a trail sled. It's like a yard banger. Yeah, it will last for Ditch a while. Banger. Is that the call? I gotta put some real grips. These ones will hurt your fucking hands. Are they heated grips? No. Yeah, I think it's heated, but it's just. No, um, it doesn't have no heat. No this shit's hard. You can buy thing. heated grips for it. If you want to be an old man sled. Old man. What? I've been catching up on Gold Rush. So I used to watch it, but then I like stopped watching it for Mad Seasons. That shit's cool as hell, dude. 
Right, makes you think you can go out and find gold. Well, kind of, but this the dude Tony Beats, like, he fucking... Dude, he's spending over a million dollars on one piece of equipment, and he's buying, like, ten pieces of equipment now. That's, like, how much money? That's, like, a gold separator? He drops, like, right. ten... No, just, like, a cat. I thought they used, like, sleuths. Yeah, like, shit like that, too. But they, like, I'm run saying, water like, over it? Like, he bought a brand-new cat bulldozer and a brand-new... Uh, excavator it was like 1.6 million for one and then like a million dollars for another because like he's trying to scoop like a shitload of dirt at one time right the more material you move the more gold you're getting out of it yeah this shit's crazy dude right but you have to have money to do that yeah it's not as easy so you start and then start with just a bobcat it. Yeah, you start a with a fucking bobcat and keep going. My mini X. Hell yeah, bro. It's got, got a little, little like expansion chamber on the bottom. Eh. Uh-uh. You could probably cut that off and then it would be mad loud. Maybe we can find a can for it. Let's check for spark, man, just for fun. Yeah, motherfucker, yama. Trail sled. This is how we do it on the trail with our tool bag mm-hmm. that we carry around. Nice, let's check for spark. I say it has spark, you say it doesn't. Okay, I say it does too, but it doesn't. Yeah, you're saying it doesn't. Turn the key. Is that fucking gallon jug? All right, pull it again. I'll, I'll hold one at a time. Yeah. They both dude, had spark. That's I saw. awesome, man. So we just got to clean the car, put some fresh gas in it, dude. This sound bitch right. I do want to get a new shock for it, but for now, let's just get it fired up with some ethanol free. Yep. Ripping. Oh shit, my gas, I forgot. It's probably overflowing like a bitch now. Damn, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Jay, what the hell? We're really coming out there. Woo. It's probably water. Light a match, man. Woo! At least we now know it's cleaned out. We can put some fresh fucking. E85 in there. I can't put this on YouTube, man. The EPA will be all up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was just water and soap. I know. I'm just I was messing using with you. to clean. <laughs> all right, man. I think that's gonna be a wrap for today. Yep. We'll get this piece of shit slide going some other time. It's actually in good shape, man. Yeah, it's I'm impressed. Yep, clean the carburetor. Hopefully we can fire it up in the next video. It's gonna be sick, man. Hopefully we get some snow.